dear Pugsley. He does enjoy playing with his missiles. Keeps him out of mischief, too. It's amazing how that little rascal manages to keep one step ahead of the government space program. A true Adam. <laughs> ah, it's midnight. The perfect time for a little family picnic. We'll surprise the children. Oh, darling, they have to get up so early to go to school. Well, then we'll leave them here. That should certainly surprise them. <laughs> Dear Gomez, so wise and understanding. That's exactly what they said about old Senator Adams, just before they impeached him. <laughs> I'll have Lurch bring the car around back. <laughs> Oh, you can't beat a night like this for a picnic. That's nail hunt. Where's Cousin It? <laughs> there you are, you little rascal. So sweet of you to join us, It. <laughs> oh, but don't thank us. What would a snail hunt be without you? You attract them. <laughs> Isn't my bar coming? She's going to stay home with the children. Teaching them to make cobwebs. <laughs> The games. <laughs> Good work, Lurch. A family that plays together stays together. Put them in the trunk, please, Lurch. Uh, Diddy. Can I turn on the radio? By all means. I'll try to get music to go snail hunting by. <laughs> It's his favorite music. <laughs> Radio needs fixing. We interrupt this program for a special announcement. An unidentified space aircraft has been reported over the Cemetery Ridge area. Hey, that's our area. This is an unconfirmed report from MSO, Mysterious Space Objects Headquarters. There is no cause for alarm, and residents of the area are urged not to panic. We now return you to Harpsichord Reverie. Hey. Maybe they're Martian. Couldn't we stick around and find out? Well, then it's settled. We'll stay here and picnic right in our own backyard. Hooray! <laughs> Hinkley, MSO. You saw a flying object where? I see. Cemetery Ridge District. Near what house? The old Adams house? Well, thank you very much. We'll look into it. You know, that's the 14th call we've had on that Cemetery Ridge sighting. What do you think? Who knows? How about it, Professor? Huh? We are always sending spaceships up there. One of these days, somebody up there is going to send something down here. You mark my word. <laughs> Professor's no fool. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but he is dedicated. Spent 20 years of his life trying to figure out what the Martians probably talk like. You know, all this Ralla Malla Bagata talk may prove to be very valuable. If those little green guys ever do land, somebody's gonna have to palaver with them. I think we better get over to that Cemetery Ridge district and look around. Right. Oh, well, uh, one more thing. This may prove to be another false alarm, but just in case it isn't, and you are captured, you know what you have to do. Eat the code book. Right. <laughs>